Welcome back to more of our Battle Lord adventure with Richard of Sturgia. And we are diving into a battle with the Kuzate. 1,181 versus 309. Let's hunt some horse lord. Oh, yes. Right. I have got the infantry. Good, because we're going to need to protect all to advance. Actually, I've got control of everything. It's my army, isn't it? Derp, derp, derp. That's fine. Uh, we got any horse archers? We do, actually. Um, who can lead them? One of the other Sturgian lords that have joined me. Yeah, this this lassie. Tamir. Right. Uh, and yeah, group... No, uh, no, group four. Look at that. Ready! Warriors! Shield wall! Yeah, yeah! Warriors. Infantry, Move. advance. Cavalry, move out. Horse bowmen, get moving. Horse, horse archers. archers, full horse AI delegation. Horse. Cavalry, your charge order is given. Go for it. There's 82 of you versus 64 of their horse archers. Get stuck in. Chase them back. To their formation, punish them. Meanwhile, we have the shield all advancing. I'm actually going to tell you guys to go in line because you'll run much faster. Rather, you'll advance faster. Hear me. Forward. Move. Come on, there's 600 of you under my personal command. Get stuck in. Form up. Gavum. Soldiers! Horses! Over! Cavalry fall, pull out to the flanks. Warriors! Hear me! Archers. Move up Move. here. Yeah. Yeah, you awesome, yeah. Dan. You've worked out a. Uh, a death counter widget. That would actually work quite well for Bannerlord streams. As well as Elden Ring. Warriors. Right, infantry. Charge. Get stuck in. Kill them all. Let me see a field of green. Excuse me, sir. Could you not? Got him. Teach you. Try and take me out. Infantry. Slaughter them all. They're spawning in the next wave. But we're on top of them. So they're just going to go down. Cavalry struggling a bit. That's fine. Make them all break. Make them all rout. Hunt them all down. We actually did um, Vortex and more Lempus Docks about three months ago and then took a break. It's solid. Um, if you've not done any of the Vampire Coast, highly recommend a Noctilus run. Yeah, Battle Lord into Total War. <laughs> Just talking through campaign options if you're waiting for Mortal Empires in Warhammer 3 right now. To be fair, if you haven't done Ikit Claw Mortal Empires campaign, what are you even doing with your life? Uh, Skaven nukes across the whole map needs to be done. Ah, I just managed to escape. But victory is ours! Huzzah! How many did we lose? 72 total. Dead. 67 wounded. That is cracking. 
Happy days. Hey, Pedro. Any prisoners? Yeah, I don't have any currently, so I'll grab you. Upgrade all my troops. Because we're going to go hit tile next. Uh, that we could definitely sell for a pretty penny. Uh, the rest. Unless there's any food. Yep. And go to XP for my troops. We not cap. We didn't, unfortunately we didn't capture any of them. That's a shame. Uh, right, we're gonna hit tile because it's only got 128 defenders. Everyone that we pulled to us here. There are still more we can pull. We can pull it in Idrun. I would have the largest party in this one. We're definitely allowed work to get done. I mean, who else is really going against the battalions? We, we need to get this war ended now. Come to me, all of you. To me. I summon all of the... Definitely you. Definitely you. I won't take any more. That'll do. Cost me 55 influence. Done. And we're not going to worry about bringing down their walls. We are just going to besiege them. Uh, and take them out with a ram and a tower. Oh, there's only 56 of them. Garrison's even weaker than I thought. Yeah, they're going to get chased away. This other army's coming in. Look at it. Look at this mighty force. If you want an infuriating run on Mortal Empires, do Archeon run. Spend about 20 hours trying to kill Roikler. Oh, that's true, yeah. I still actually, if I if I want, if uh, for whatever reason, you know, I decide to return to Warhammer 2, if we're waiting for Mortal Empires for a while, I wouldn't mind trying to do a Colec run at the Sword of Cain, just for funsies. That could be kind of fun. I mean, definitely on Warhammer 3, I want to revisit Colec, for sure, at some point. Right. Uh, let's get that tower up. Let's wait till morning and then we will press the attack. Right. Lead the, the troops in the assault. Although we, as much as I love my axe, we want to switch on over to my bow for this. In we go. 1,629 versus 56. Some might say I brought too many men. Some might say not enough. I say not enough. Auto deploy. Begin. Ah, uh, no. Get back on your horse. What are you doing? Controls. No. No. Oh, I kicked my horse away. Oh, crap. <laughs> I was trying to get to get, trying to get my uh, NVIDIA FPS overlay up on screen. And uh, instead that happened. Just hide behind the barricades here. It seems fairly safe. Let the ram do the work. So many infantry. I love it. Hey, Tanathalas, you're lurking while playing Elden Ring. What what level and what character? Or what class, I should say. And if I can actually shoot that far. Might be well over, actually. You take out that scorpion. There we go, there's a hit. Someone just lob an axe well up in the air there. It's all like twirling on through. There we go, he's dead. Oh yeah, follow that ram. Oh crap. Is the tower going in? Yeah, tower's nearly in over there. Shields up, boys. They've barely got any troops on this left side. Look at the axes go. Love it. Can't, yeah, when's, uh, isn't it, is it the 22nd of March that a season five of Last Kingdom's out? I need that in my life, especially as I've just finished, um, Vikings Valhalla season one. I just need more in that vein of content. I get the ladders up there. You know what, I might go up those ladders actually as well. Come on, come on chaps. Look at those two doing all the hard work, getting the ladders prepped. Come on. They're, oh, look at them. Look at them go forward. Charge. Oh, 
Oh, that bastard, that peasant knocked it off. Got the ladder back up, boys. I'm going to go give him a crimson smile. So I go back to Troy, but it's disappointing to hear people aren't high on it. Um, giant. I mean, there are definitely some people that, that do enjoy. I mean, there's there's a lot that, there's a lot to like about Troy. It's just, and especially the the early mid game is is very solid. It's just as the game goes on, it's an inherent problem that not just Troy has, but a lot of Total War games uh, suffer from, is that the challenge substantially drops off. Or that there's like just pacing problems. But for me, I had that in both saga titles. So so far, to me, it seems like it's a kind of inherent saga problem. Chop his legs off. So you know, you know, you've been playing too much Elden Ring when you, instead of pressing spacebar to jump in Bannerlord onto the next house, you press F, which is the Elden Ring key to jump. Uh, right, let's get more spears in here. I mean, we just replace. We don't want the militia. We might as well take the recruits, the warrior, archers, don't want the clansmen. I'll take the line breakers. Take them as well. And then we're just one shy of being full. Um, so that's fine. Uh, more prisoners? Yes, I can take. Give me a war horse. Give me a step horse. Rest is experience my troops. All right. Uh, we'll show mercy. Continue. We definitely have to fight to say we don't want to be given this at the arse end of the world right now. Let's ransom these prisoners. Oh, boy. And I also picked up an axe, didn't I? Was it an axe? No, it was a lance. Yeah, sell that for 3k. Not that I don't know why I'm focusing on money right now when we're 171k up. But you know what? Shiny fever. We'll sell that Bella Bella vest as well. Plenty of horse here. Can I, can I buy some more horse? Let me take those step war horses, actually. That'll do. Um, then let's... Increase my cohesion. Uh, then wait here for a smidge. Let everyone recruit up a bit. Then we're going to say stop waiting. We're going to leave. I've got a level up, it seems. Yeah, in two-handed. Nice. Berserker. Increase your damage with two-handed weapons by 20% when you have less than half hit points. <laughs> Uh, garrison wages are reduced by 10% in Govan Town. Or confidence. Increase your damage with 200 weapons by 15% when your hit points are above 90%. <laughs> no, Berserker. Berserker. I mean, it plays wonderfully into what we're actually doing. So, and I'm far often below 50% than I am above 90%. You with riding. Full speed or nimble? Um, Full speed for you. Right, let's take the army and go hit that castle. And then hopefully we can force them to peace. Look at this mighty army. Vote for the new owner. Good, it's not me. I abstain. Godin has it. I just have to find out when I lose Sion on. Well, have they stopped? Actually, maybe they've stopped sieging it. Maybe it's no longer under siege. I might have gotten lucky. Yeah, because it would have a siege symbol over it. <gasps> My city! It's safe for now! Right, we need to wrap up this wall then. We need to take this castle. And I mean, really, we should drive into the heart of their lands if we can. It just depends if they come up with another big old army at some point. Right, they've got a lot of us captive at this castle, which is why we need to take it. 
We need to free them all by claiming this castle. How many troops they got in here? 245. Ram and tower again. We're not going to hang about. Uh, I mean, we can... I'll wait till morning. I don't know if that'll give us time for another siege. Oh, oh, peace with Britannia has arrived. Oh, it's going to keep the war going against the Kuzates. I haven't lost me a city yet, have I? I've still got it. I kind of... I mean, this would allow us to focus on the... They offer us 2,000... Yes! Oh, it's because they're all with Valandia as well. This allows us to focus on the Kuzate then. We can keep the war going. Yes! Canyons are willing to pay considerable tribute. I agree. Um, if I abstain, it won't do anything. We've got plenty of, so yeah, stay here. Nice. Ah. Sweet. Yeah, let's keep punishing these guys. We are going to push on their capital then. Free up our other lords. And we keep this battle going. Thank you, Valandia, for going after the Britannians. Because that has saved my city. Right. Time to attack. Have I still got my... Yeah, my bow, sword and everything equipped? Lead the assault! What if you didn't vote on the castle? Would they have the truce vote taken priority? Um... I don't know, actually. I assume... I, th I think you can have multiple and it would stack. Look at our camp back there. It looks cool, doesn't it? Um, right, yeah. Auto-deploy. Auto-deploy. Ready. Advance, men! Glory. This day we rescue eight of our lords. Actually, no. I think there's only six of them here. This day we, we rescue many of our lords. Glorious day it will be. Archers running forward to skirmish. The rest of the infantry forming up behind towers. Also be coming up with the ramp. Come on, keep pushing. Next one. Forward. Gonna rush on up to the missile positions and start harassing them if I can. Help out a little bit. Horse. I was hoping we could jump over that, but no. Hey, uh, Loic, how you doing? Off the horse. Where are the arrows from up here coming? Might advance a little bit further, actually. I think it's a bit too of a raised position. Basically, never contribute anything useful to siege. I always end up murdered. Yeah. It does happen a lot. Don't be disheartened. Most of the time, I end up dying. Especially when I'm poking out a bar of uh, the hoardings like this and barricades. Oh, that was right by his face. That's the shot. It take, takes a few shots to work out the range. There we go. There we go. One more. There we go. He's dead now. I mean, they've got enough to replace all the positions on the wall. A few times, I'd have thought. So we're not going to do a huge amount here. Can't seem to get that guy. Okay. Got 30 arrows left. I'm going to wait. Powers are making good progress up. How many have we lost so far? 46 dead, 53 wounded. The sieging. Now that's siegecraft. Just a good guide on what to do. A better start with your own kingdom. Can't find anything up to date. 
Yeah, I mean, I've still not gone for my own kingdom yet. I might do with this series at some point, but I'm just kind of hoping I can just get Sturgia painting most of the map its own color. Maybe at the end we'll uh, see if we can splinter off with our own group of loyalist lords. I mean, I think that's, that's the big problem with the game still in terms of kingdom, your own kingdom management. It's severely lacking. It needs a lot more options, a lot more things that you can do to help you out. Uh, from what I understand, though, like top tips are like form your own kingdom. Get a load of good relations, like really high relations with other lords in existing factions, because then you are far more and, and have high charisma, because then you're far more likely to be able to get them to join your faction, which will give you some nobles, which will basically help you stay alive early on. Um, and obviously, yeah, have a lot of money to be able to, to fund it all. Smithing is best for that. Right, Siege Tower is going up. The Ram is on its way as well. Yeah, Ram's making good progress. Well, that barricade got knocked down. They're all back up on the walls there. They're down to 192. We've had 100 of our troops die in the army so far. 83 wounded. The game is a grind, yeah, for sure. Right, they're getting up the towers. Start advancing a little bit. That scorpion needs clearing out of those nests. That's the thing here. It's it's a it's a great one for defenders because you've got a great view on the line up to the main gate the whole way up. Absolute butcher's work. But we've got the numbers, so it will just be attrition. We will eventually force our way through. Shield up. Follow the ram, I think, is our best bet here of getting in. Shield up. Hope we don't get taken out. Let the ram do its job. Get that gate open. It's swinging. Can't really look around too much to see how we're doing elsewhere. Okay, now the towers are definitely doing their work. They've lost like another 40 troops very quickly. And they're pulling troops off the wall to other, other locations. What's up there? Yeah, the other tower over on the far right is definitely... They've swung along. They've done all right. Gates down. In we go. Let's watch up above. They might have some of them up there ready to throw down rocks. Don't have my axe with me, so I just have to use my sword. Max would be way more effective at chopping down this inner gate. And then we have the true butcher's work to do. The defenders that are going to form up by the gate. Come on. Here we go. Push, 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 push. Ah! Oh god, it's so laggy getting through here. There we go. Get out behind them. What is lag for? Ay ay ay. Oh, that is that is chonky. Didn't like that map, did it? Oh, right. We made it through though. Pushed through. Got round behind them. Right, seven of them left. We've lost 202 of our army have died. 151 wounded. Egg safe the castle. Free the prisoners. It's incredible. I mean, when you when you pull off something like this, it is there's no game like it. Oh, it is not a happy bunny though. Like my FPS isn't low. It's just absolutely chugging it on this. Some of the maps still have massive performance problems, unfortunately. Oof. But despite that, yeah, I can't think of a game that gives you a similar experience as this. Oh, there's a few archers left on the walls. There we go. Well done, men. Well done. 
victory and glory. What's the max number of units displayed in the battle? Um, I think a thousand is the maximum. Prisoners, prisoners. Yeah, we can take them all. Give me the horses. Any food that they have. Yeah, give me some grain. And the rest is XP for my troops. Uh, we will show the mercy right now. Dungeon. Yeah, he's in there. All the other lords are now free. Stop. Leave. Um, that should be a, a huge blow. They've got two of them still. That's good. Yeah, we don't want to make peace paying tribute. No, 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 no. What other armies are there? It's just my army going around right now. Right, let's uh, let's drop in a save from here. That's how you not how you don't. That's not yeah. That's not how you spell Kuzates, but I'm gonna say that's how I'm doing it today. Feels it. <laughs> that's how I say it. How does it actually spell? Oh, there's an H in there, and it's eight. It's because their name, their name, they refer to the. They're the precursor of the Carnet, aren't they? In the um other game, it'll do for a save name anyway. Right, let's push on. Let's try and hit this castle. And then we'll hit their their city here. Take their castle, take their lands, take their gold. I do not want this castle, so please don't give it to me. Good, no one's offering it to me. Well, that's fine. Has my brother still got his helm from the start of the game? Why am I going on here? In items. Oh yeah, he does. I've never given you a better hat. <laughs> Mate, when we're done with this, you can have a better a better helm, I promise. Proceed to that castle. Same job. As before. Towers. Towers and ram will be enough to take it. We do need to up the cohesion of this army. I'm hoping they don't have enough troops to challenge us. They shouldn't do. They shouldn't have an army over a thousand strength, I wouldn't have thought. They could probably have us, though, with an army of about seven, 800. That's the thing, though. Right, they are gathering an army together, though. Right, one more tower and we go. 564. They are gathering. They're thinking about it. Back. Also deploy. Start. Always have trouble getting deeper into your campaigns. Start up, dick around a bit, and then you get lost. Any tips? Uh, I mean, for me, it's always about picking, like, I always like to pick a kingdom that I want to then join and help them paint the map with. I'm, I'm never, I've never really been bothered about forming my own kingdom in this game. Uh-oh. Incoming! That's going to bring our ram down. If we're not careful. Bring down the onagers! And I can't hit any of them from here. Can try and take down some of those arches on the wall, though. If they don't move. Come on. You buggy, you've gone inside. Come back out. Die. Uh-oh. That sounded crispy. Yeah, so for me, it's all about finding... Oh, 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 I thought they'd got that siege tower burning then. Yeah, it's all about finding a faction that I really want to join and kind of role, role play with their, uh, with their own wars and stuff. Oh, that siege tower on that side's down. We're just going to be going up on ladders at this point. Rod the 
Best castle in the game. Oh, God. I wouldn't know, actually. Like, I feel I haven't spent enough time checking them all out. Um, some of the Valandian ones are really nice, though. Yeah, doing becoming like a merchant trader is actually quite a fun fun way to kind of roleplay the game as well. And run through it that way. Oh, sweet Jesus. Thankfully, it's mainly just wounding a lot of our troops. Only four have actually died. 51 have just been wounded. So clearly burning burning ammunition does a lot of wounding, not a lot of killing. Watching stream while eating biryani. Oh, nice. Everything's spicy and on fire now. But what are they firing over there with? No idea. Try and take out some more archers on the wall. Picked a load of them off there. Sending up their next wave of troops to man the wall. Why did that sound like the... Did the ram just make it through the gate? Yes, it did. Right, through. In we go. Time to get stuck in. I thought the ram had actually just been taken out, but no, it was the sound of the gate coming down. They've got 179 still. That gate is going to be very well defended, though. I could possibly go up the tower. We do need to clear the onagers. Troops are doing fairly well so far. Let's get up the siege tower. I'm just so glad that troops use multiple ladders now. And that is that is arguably the, the most substantial quality of life change and improvement they've made throughout the whole game's development so far. Making it so that your troops actually take multiple siege equipment and multiple towers. I'm not going to rush in yet. Come on, man. This is, I really should take my axe sometime as well. I'm getting in. I'm pushing. They're running. Yeah, we're through. We're through. Clear them all out. Clear the towers. Yeah, that honor go will fire no longer. Victory! Another castle. The Kuzate falls to us. Ooh. Oh, so when the ruler dies, you get elected, do you? Oh, that's nice. I did not know that. That you, I knew. I felt felt like I knew you could marry into the ruling family. But I didn't know that you could uh, get elected. That's pretty cool. That was the Batanians. I don't know if it's different for the Kuzate. Uh, the Kuzate, the Sturgians, rather. That's pretty awesome. Fine. Your unit experience. Show mercy. Again, don't really want to piss any people off. Uh, approach the gates to hail the guard. Continue. Wait here for some time. Let everyone replenish up. Where that army's going to go to the city. So we need that army to actually leave. Otherwise, that is going to be a bright pain to take on. Right, they've left. Vote for the owner of the castle. Yep, abstain. I don't want it going to me. Whoever has it, you have it. You can if you have enough support. Okay, that's pretty cool. I mean, I feel like I've made a lot of friends here. So they still want peace. They still won't, like, they they force us to pay them tribute. Despite the fact we are absolutely spanking them right now in terms of taking land. Increase our cohesion. And we're going to go hit that, that city next. Uh, Bal Takand. They are sieging that castle, to be fair. We should probably go relieve that siege. Oh, they're also hitting that one. Let's go relieve those sieges. Then focus on the... Uh... Here we go. 
crush the Kuze. There we go. I am Richard. We're at war. Surrender or die. Heard me. Yield or fight. Right. Let's get the axe out. We're going to save. And in we go. You can pledge yourself to a faction from the start. Not from... Well, you can use a mod that kind of jumps ahead but i think it's once you get to was it clan clan tier two clan renowned tier two you can then pledge yourself as uh to to a faction i think from clan tier one you can pledge as a mercenary to a faction and then from clan tier two you can um you can do it as a as an actual lord it's pretty cool. Actually, yeah, infantry go here. We're attacking them, so we're going to have to advance anyway. Oh, I've got 116 cavalry. I mean, they're going to have plenty as well, aren't they? Uh, delegate command, yeah. To my cav, otherwise I'm going to see them killed, probably. I'm going to split my cavalry into two groups of 58, one on each flank. Horse Arch is going to go forward and skirmish. Hear me, hear me. Form a wall. Shield wall with the infantry. Warriors. Archers, if you could go Spread to loose Warriors. spacing, that'd be great. Move Spread out across here. Yeah. It's your leader king or a high chief. Kings, queens go through bloodline chieftains though. Oh, I don't actually know. I'll have to check after this. Here are their horse archers. So archers skirmish them down. Some of them are going to go into the shield wall. Cavalry on that left flank. Hopefully he's going to tuck in to protect us a bit. Or I can do it with my big old axe. Yeah, they're folding in on the flanks and watching them well. This is good. Oh, like that! You can felt the momentum, the weight of him there. He just got caught out and dropped. Shield wall, hold. Reform the line. We are well and truly spanking them today. Ow, tree. Come on, troops. Thing is, their infantry and archer lines are probably going to stay put. They'll shuffle around. But it gives us a chance to deal with their with their horse archers for a bit. Because they will keep on skirmishing with us. But eventually my archers will run out. And then we'll have to send forth the infantry line. Cavalry is advancing on the flanks, so I think we need to uh, send my troops forward a bit. Shield wall line to there, please. Archers stay put for now because you can pick off any cavalry that any of the horse archers are trying to loop on round. And go after the archers. Tuck in from behind. Oh, God, they're just thinning them down. Creating a kill zone between us all. This is great. Here come the cavalry on the right. Come here. Got him. That was a that was a enemy character. Enemy lord. That's it. Push forward. Keep advancing to their line. Archers move up to here now. Infantry keep marching forward. We have my archer line here now. Oh, 
off all the trees. Yeah, archers just come to here. It's fine. The rest of the AI horses with the cavalry will keep advancing as well. They'll keep watching our flanks nicely. Maybe we can do this because we actually outnumber them for once. So we don't have to worry about all their cavalry breaking ours. Soon we'll be close enough with the infantry we can give them the order to charge. Archers move, if we can, into the clearing. There we go. Infantry. Go into line formation. You'll advance much faster. You can shield all up closer. And then tell you guys to engage. 63 of their troops dead. 30 wounded. 15 of ours dead. 20 wounded. Now we're engaging on the flanks. It's fine. They're pulling more of their horse archers to us. Shield wall with the infantry line. Tuck in. Get a little bit close here. We can see their infantry line now. Definitely want our archers here. And infantry. Go to that. In shield wall. Absorb. Their missile fire, their javelins, their darts, and the, that we will give you guys an attack command. This is going to be a glorious slaughter in the forest. As someone that's played this game right from, from early access release to now, I still can't find the words to actually express how excited I am to see the Sturgians repeatedly annihilating the Kuzates in battle. It's glorious to see. Infantry, advance! Up that hill. Kill them all. Oh, two in one. Oh, no, he survived. Absolute carnage. the stuff. Slaughter every last one of them. Their cavalry now that remain pretty much. Few infantry. Utter carnage. Come here, come on. Ah, oh, he got taken out. Nice. We've lost. Okay, with that charge, yeah, 117, 119 dead now, 127 wounded. We've got 350 dead, 203 wounded. Their cavalry that's come in. Still going. Infantry, though. We've got 725 of them across the map right now. Just swarming the enemy cavalry positions. Won't give in yet. They soon will. Their 
fleeing. Mass retreat. Oh, no, that one caught on the tree and didn't manage to catch you. There we go. He's gone. Got him. Or he can make it across the line as well. Victory. Oh, glorious. <sighs> Look at this. Look at this glorious army through the trees. This is awesome. There we go. And you're my prisoner now. Yep, you're my prisoner now. Glorious. Uh, I've got room for all of those. We don't quite... Because we need to... Donate some of these. Uh, let's just take their top tier ones. What gets the most money? Uh, 75. Perfect. Give me your war horses, imperial charges. Great way to get a load of horses, this. Food have you got? Some grain. Keep the army fed. Wonderful carnage. Right, we need to go to that castle to free that up. Because, yeah, there's barely any defenders here. The thing is, we can't afford for this war to go on for too long because we, we need these castles garrisoned. And for that, we need it to be at peace. There we go. We found another army to go kill. Surrender. If we take out these, they're also they're also sieging Tile with an army of 551. If we take out them, we will probably stand a really good chance to have captured most, if not all, of their lords. I'd have thought. And this will, yeah, prevent them from being able to do anything else really sizable against us. This is going to be insane. Definitely delegating command. With the cav again, because that was great. Um, I'd really like the archers. Take some high ground again. That was quite nice. The little bit that we can move them to here. So we're going to form up more on the right. And then we'll send the infantry out in front. Ready. Warriors! Get moving! Hear me! Move! Everyone moving. Yeah, so Warriors! Soldiers! Archers. Spread out! Warriors! Loose spacing. Cross here, please. Hear me. Main Move infantry out. line. Forward. Out in front. Move. I'll do it well. The cavalry will just watch the flanks. And we're all good. Uh, deployment is now in the game. It's not a mod. Uh, you get access to it when you have 20 troops or more. Ooh. How's it going, JavaScript? How's, how's it going, Dan? Oh, look at you coding it all, dude. That's insane, man. Top work. Right, they're coming around. Cavalry is protecting on the right. On the left, they're a bit busy with the other horse archers. They're going into the back of the shield wall, but they will be brought down. Just killed three of them with me axe alone. Here comes the cavalry. I think we have the infantry line too far forward. Let's pull it back a little bit. We've created too much of a gap for them to pull in from behind. form the battle line so again we've lost four four dead two wounded they've lost 31 dead 11 wounded this strategy seems to work pretty well just wait for their next wave of horse archers to come at us and we're all good oh, 
great war against the Kuzates will continue. Cavalry swapping sides for some reason now. They're sending out their next wave. All such as 60 of them approaching. Fire away. They'll flank round us in that gap. And then we jump on them. Try and catch some of them out now before they come on in. Come on. Go, dead. Oh, I missed the swing on the return. We can chase them down here, but again, we don't want to get too close to their battle line. So we'll peel back off. They lost 15 in that attack. Pull back to the line. Rinse and repeat. Meanwhile, the shield wall holds firm. Although we should probably tell you guys to go to line. It'll let the cavalry pass through it easier. Now, shield wall. Shield wall. Oof. Some big damage to me there. Gotta be careful. Glaive, that's nasty. Dead. So, horse archers are gone. We can advance with the main line. <laughs> Just straight into the back of them. Dead. Well, they got 45 horse archers. They're sending out new detachments all the time. We're still really low on casualties compared to them, though. Great to see. More of our troops coming in as reinforcements, taking up their position. Excuse me, position on the line. Time for a third and speech. First person to go on horseback, but it's harder. Yeah, definitely a lot harder. Right here they come. Forty-three of them. Cavalry on the left. Watch them. They're going to stay further back at the moment. They're in range of my archers. They're trying to probably harass my cavalry. My cavalry is looking to charge forward and engage them. And work out nicely. Drives them away before they even get to my infantry line this time. So that being the case, I think it's time to advance. Tell the infantry to go back to line. Yeah. Otherwise, in shield war, it takes them a lot longer. Supported by the cavalry on the right. Cavalry on the left, chasing away the horse archers. Go forth. Fear no ducks. Have retake your positions. Need my infantry to take position on that ridge. Warriors, get moving! Warriors, move! Force archers are coming closer, for, uh, faster than we thought. So quickly, shield wall. Hold up here, see off that wave, and then keep going. Then we'll advance with the archers. Cavalry seeing them off nicely, though. So, yeah, we'll have the infantry deploy just the other side of this ridge and the archers up on top of it. Cavalry at this point might just be like, screw it, we're going in. 
actually isn't much of a ridge, to be fair. Go, go, go. Our part's just coming for a, a wonder to see what's going on. In the middle of a battle, bud. <clears throat> How was this tiny talk? forward little deeds awake now for wrath now for ruin the red dawn and a cup heart cry <laughs> oh that's all that the enemy cav uh, help cavalry clear the shield wall What we'll do is we will tell these guys. Um, I can't tell them to advance. Warriors, get moving! Here we go. Really nice and close. Archers to here, please. Watch them melt. really low on health. My horse is about to die. Warriors. Entry. Charge. Charge. You're so close to their line. I just want to see the carnage. Here we go. Yeah, the enemy cab's moving away so I can see it. Look at him go. Look at him go. Ah, my horse. Not pebbles the horse. Infantry just completely fold over the enemy. Beautiful carnage. Oh, was F4, was it, to advance? Uh, no, time's the... Oh, no, hang on, sorry. And then advance, right. F1 first. My bad. Thanks for the reminder. 27 of them left. So we've lost 39 of our troops have died. And that guy's dead. Um, they've had 218 of their troops die. 98 wounded. This is going to be huge. Especially if we go on to the next army straight after this. Beautiful. I recommend this game. In its current state, in 1.7 onwards... I can definitely recommend it. It's still in early access. There's still lots for it to work on. Still lots for them to improve. But it is very playable right now. This is the best campaign I've ever had so far. The most enjoyable as well. Hey, bud. Come say a quick hi. 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 The cub is here. Hello, bud. Look. Look at all the slaying I did in your name this day. All the foes that we have defeated. Uh, we can't. We can take on two more prisoners. Give me the horse guard there. Let's upgrade these guys. Axemen, spears, that, that, uh, that, 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 that. Boom. Give me your horses. Give me. That's it. The rest is experience for troops. Noise, 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 noise. Now we hear crying. Yeah, it's because Lady Lanhart will be probably trying to put his coat on. He doesn't like having a coat put on him. Right, they're sieging tile. I need to actually rest a smidge. I'm going to go put these prisoners that I've got into this castle. Go to the dungeon. Oh, I can't. They're already at their limit. <laughs> Look how many of them we've got. Guys. Wait here for a second. Who's that there, Ishvalent? Can I not pull you in? Uh, Ishvans, he's he's four hours away, really? 42 influence. Uh, I mean, I can probably afford it. I'm going to take Godin, though. In you come. I'm going to control this war. I'm going to take you in as well. Why not? 
Everybody joins the war. Um, I need to wait till I've got a little bit more health. I don't think they pressed the attack just yet. Stop waiting. Leave. Have they sieged any of the other castles yet that I've taken? No, they haven't. Let's take a look at the kingdom tab. How are they doing strength? Oh my god, look at their strength. We've got 16 of them. They've probably got no one else except that army. Um, we can consider making peace receiving 1,500 per day. I'm going to veto any of that if it comes up because we can take their lands right now. We can absolutely punish the Kuzates. I refuse to allow them to get away with it here. Oh, let's... Come on. Let's get them. Let's get them with these guys close enough. In... Uh, don't get involved. Let that other army get involved as well. And then in we go. We're not going to control everyone. That's fine. Move in to help. 1,718 versus 527. Oh, lordy, lordy. I'm almost tempted to say send troops and see what the auto calculator is for this. Because I'm not going to be under direct control of this battle, actually. But we should surely spank them. I've got command of the infantry again. It's fine. Oh, I've got, I get command of my whole army that I'm bringing in, I think. This is a lovely deployment as well. Um, cavalry. Delegate. Delegate. Uh, we'll give you a commander of Balan. Horse archers can go to that one. Ready. Or have I got the largest force on the one? No, there's plenty of allies here. They are going to advance forward. I'm going to stay put for the moment. That removes the size limit. I I don't really want to remove the size limit, to be honest, because it, it does get a bit laggy after a while. I think this is kind of a... Having it at a thousand just about works kind of for me. I'm quite happy with that. I'm not sure I'd want it much larger just because uh, I think it would um, struggle a bit too much. Game simulates nicely why well, it's important to have one commander. Yeah. As long as we move up and advance to support our allies here, we should be fine. Now that we've got the cavalry supporting us on the flanks, we should be all right. Archers to here. Keep going. Oh, there you go. There's one. <laughs> now we're having a good time in this. They're just going straight for them. They're not hanging about. I mean, the fact that they're pushing up so aggressively means I can keep pushing up because they're closing the gap between all the horse archers and our troops very, very nicely. So that's fine. Their troops will be the sacrifice to enable our army to move up unopposed Warriors, and unhindered. Move, soldiers, get moving. Move out. Horse. My cavalry's moving up on the flanks nicely, so it's all good. Hear me. Wall, no. Shield wall. Okay, I just got skewered by enemy archers. Infantry advance towards the enemy position. My cavalry is going in for a charge. Uh, I think there's a new, I think there's a new beta update, but this is on, yeah, 1.7.0. So otherwise the largest one. They're charging in now. So just to say the largest one, I meant the latest one. Words are tough sometimes, guys. Yeah. 
Come here, archers. Oof. Okay, I'm nearly dead. I should pull back. I'll be fine, though. I mean, my army's well and truly engaged with the enemy. They've got more troops over here now, though. A few of them over there. I need my infantry line over this way. The line. Just charge into them. We should have them. We've lost 102 so far. I think it's a pretty big loss, but that's because it's the AI charging forward as well at the start. Taking that into account. Charge. Get them. Get a green tied up. Two for the price of one with that swing. Oh, and I'm down. Yeah, thought that was going to happen. It's fine. I'll just watch the carnage now. Slaughter them all, infantry. Slaughter them all. Speed it forward. I'm going to take a fair few casualties and wounds here. But this is their final force that I'm aware of. So as long as it's not massive, massive, we're fine. If we could do this without getting 300 deaths, that'd be nice. But a carnage. Have victory! Wiggly waggle of victory. Oh no, Apollonius died on the battlefield. She was the one that. Well, I mean, that's what you get for charging headlong into the enemy. Silly, silly. Arrived just in time. You're welcome. Uh, prisoners, yeah, I still can't take any. I'm actually over my limit now. Uh, which means I'm gonna lose these prisoners. They're gonna they're gonna get out of here straight away. Let's chuck out the nomads then. Anything else that's low tier? Yeah, footmen, spears. I've got a load of militia archer. Okay. You you you. Lovely. All the way. You do, do give me that nice war horse and all those horses. Give me your fish and your grain, and I'll have your olives as well. Oof. There we go. How are we doing on food, actually? Six days of food. Let's go to Tile to drop off these prisoners. We are running a little bit low on influence. Um, go to the keep, go to the dungeon, donate prisoners. I'm going to donate everyone, actually, because that will give us more influence. Okay. Lovely stuff. Uh, recruit troops. They're already in there. That's fine. Uh, trade. Yeah, I want some food, please. Barely any. <laughs> all been taken at this point. Um, yeah, we'll take that. That's all we can take. Many, many horses. Right, let's leave. With that, though, with that, they're down to 4,152. Support is growing. So if we want to end there, we've got 21 of them captured, which surely has to be most of their lords. Let's deal the final blow, which is to go and siege.
their northern settlement here. I would like to take more of their lands. Oh, here we go. I might not be able to stop this. You normally have two days, don't you? I don't think I can even get over there and start sieging it in time. We'd have to get Russia Ram. I'm going to throw in a save here. Uh, I might not be able to do it. I'd love to take that one from them. I don't think I'm going to get there in time. They've got an army here. Nope. I've been let go. My caravan. This For this siege, we're going to need to bring down their walls. That's going to time out at some point though, isn't it? Let's just see if we can cancel it or not. Before... Okay, peace. I can just reload back so I can get out of this menu, see what it's like. Automatic result in 48 hours. See so if I say no, I have, yeah, I can't, I can't get out of that. So we'll accept that. Um, we know it's going to get automatically accepted anyway, so we might as well just see if we can rush a siege to grab a settlement from them. Let's see if we can set this up ready for our next Bandlord stream next week. Our next episode. Let's just see if we can besiege it. Problem is, we... I mean, the thing is, if the war ends here and we've taken a lot of losses... Yes, that's fine. We just won't be able to bring down the walls at all. I'm not at I'm not at full hit points either. Oh, we can only get one tower as well, one siege tower for this. Oh no, we can get another one. Let's see if we can get both siege towers. I think maybe maybe I can do that because as long as I don't click on that message, we don't acknowledge it, so it doesn't progress onto the next thing. I'm going to need to up my cohesion though. That's it. You can see, I can't. I was thinking, oh, I can afford to wait a bit longer. I was thinking, oh, I can go for Trebs and knock down their walls. We're going to lose cohesion too quickly. Right. Well, we can go in and take um, Bal Takand at the start of the next episode. And that really will do such a massive, well, I'm hoping, such a massive hit to the Kuzates. And hopefully give us a much better staging ground in the future push south into the lands. After this, we definitely need to accept peace. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Right. Let's pop in a save. Um, got the 4k piece, haven't we? Let's just, just save on top of that. We're all good. Oh, they took that castle back. Damn, you're right. Might have to see if we can reclaim that really quickly because it should be really weak. That's what they were doing. Ah, oh, thanks for pointing that out, uh, Drazen. <sighs> yeah, we'll have to see if we can maybe nip across there before we accept peace. It looks like having that notification, as long as the offer's up, as long as you haven't clicked on that, it doesn't go through to the next bit, so you can keep the war going. But we eventually are going to need to probably ease up a bit. Well, maybe, maybe we'll see how far we can go, as long as the Britannians don't kick off again. But yeah, we'll pick things up from here next stream and next recording. Until then, watching on YouTube, hope you've enjoyed. Take care and ciao for now.